From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Monday, December 29th, 2014. In the news, Alaska Governor Bill Walker has halted new spending on six high-profile projects pending further review. Walker issued an order Friday. He cites the state's $3.5 billion budget deficit that's increasing as oil prices have dropped. AP reports the projects include a small diameter gas pipeline from the North Slope. Other projects are the Kodiak Rocket Launch Complex, the Knick Arm Bridge, the Susitna Watana Hydroelectric Dam, Juno Access Road, and the Ambler Road. Walker's Budget Director Pat Pitney says Alaska's fiscal situation demands a critical look. Governor Walker and Lieutenant Governor Byron Malott will hold an inaugural ball in Fairbanks on January 24th at the Carlson Center. It's one of seven such events being held across the state between January 3rd and March 7th. The others will be held in Valdez, Juneau, Nome, Anchorage, Wasilla, and Ketchikan. Organizers say no state money will be used to pay for the festivities. Private sponsors will be recruited and organizers hope to raise as much money as past inaugural committees. And with the recent snow accumulation, hundreds of skiers and snowboarders got out over the weekend to shred the fresh powder, try out their new gear from the holidays, and enjoy some beautiful weather. Moose Mountain was a popular resort Saturday. Skiers eagerly waited at the bottom of the hill to take a warm bus ride up to the top. And even with Saturday's negative temperatures, the new snow attracted hundreds. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather today, mostly cloudy with occasional flurries and highs in the 20s. Tonight, mostly cloudy, lows 7 to 13 above, and tomorrow, mostly cloudy, highs in the mid-20s to lower 30s. Extended forecast, mostly cloudy through the week, with highs starting to cool, 20s on Wednesday to about 10 by Friday. Air index good in Fairbanks, moderate in North Pole, and the Aurora forecast is moderate as well. That's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. Don't forget the rest of the News Center team will be here tonight at 6 with the Fairbanks Evening News on KTVF Channel 11. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Please don't forget CPR saves lives, and we thank you for watching.